What's going on guys? Got a GE side-by-side -side refrigerator and the issue is we got water that continues to leak out of here. So even if you're trying to fill up something, whenever you stop filling, now of course it won't do it here, but it will leak out. And what the problem was, this is a make ready that we're in here right now. And when we came in this morning, the floor was soaked and the tray was filled with water. So it just keeps leaking out over time, even when you're not using it. So what, what it's gonna be is the dual water inlet valve, which is right here. One of these solenoids goes to the ice maker and the other one to the water dispenser on the uh, refrigerator here. Back in here is the ice maker. So no issues there. Uh, we're getting ice made and everything, but just this leaking out here. So I'm gonna pull this pan out. It's full of water underneath there as well. And we'll get that cleaned up. So after you have the refrigerator pulled out, you want to go ahead and shut the water off, go into the water inlet valve, and go ahead and unplug the refrigerator as well. And your dual water inlet valve is going to be over here on the left side. So we want to go ahead and take these screws off the back. And while we're in here, we'll go ahead and clean the coil up as well. So let me grab screwdrivers and we'll get going. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish pulling all these screws out. One, two, three, four more. Then we'll pull this bottom cover plate off. Okay, we got all the screws out. Let's go ahead and lift that off. Coil's looking a little dirty. Oh yeah. All right. There's our dull water inlet valve. Quarter inch screw right here. Has it mounted. that up off and we got two wire harnesses right here to unplug and we got a water line at the bottom and a water line at the top okay so we go ahead and unplug these now at the bottom here this little clear disc you want to push that in and then pull out the line and you're going to get a little bit of water there. So we'll do that one last. Go ahead and get our little adjustable and we'll take off the line on the top. A little bit of water there as well. Get my little cup. that in and we'll pull the, pull the line out. Do the same thing on this one and push it in, pull the line out. Alright, here's our old dual solenoid water inlet valve but these are your solenoids right here here's 
our new one. Get that little cover off. Now we'll plug our lines back in the bottom. They're two different sizes, so you won't mix them up. Just push it in until you hear it click. Same thing with this one. Okay, both click. Go ahead and plug your harnesses in. Clear one goes on the blue side. And red to red. Okay. Now go ahead and connect this wire line. Snug it up, go ahead and tuck it back in. All right, this little hook right here goes right in the side, right there below my finger. So we'll get this line tucked in here. If I can do it with one hand. Quarter inch screw. That's back in there. So now it's all hooked up. We'll plug the refrigerator back in. Turn the water back on, check for leaks. Everything seems good there. Fill up a cup of water, get the air out of the line. good. Just going to clean the coil, put the cover back on. We should be good to go. Alright, that's replacing a dual water inlet valve on a GE side-by-side -side refrigerator. So if you have water that's dripping out of your dispenser, filling up your tray, chances are you got a bad water inlet valve. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.